Okay, so you say gigawatt and I say gigawatt nameplate. What's the big deal? Well, you've got the White House setting an ambitious goal of 30 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030, hoping to turn that into 110 gigawatts by 2050. Does that seem right to you? if you would imagine the president announcing this goal. My fellow Americans, I'm here to announce our goal to deploy 30 gigawatts of offshore wind in the United States by 2030. Now, imagine this with gigawatt nameplate. <coughs> My fellow Americans, I'm here today to announce our goal of 30 gigawatt nameplate of offshore wind by 2040. If we succeed, this will unlock a pathway to 110 gigawatt nameplate by 2050. All right, I'll take some questions now. And then here's where the questions begin. <laughs> Mr. President, nameplate? I'm really glad you asked. I'm told by my experts, who are very forthcoming on these matters, that the nameplate is the amount of energy that we would get on a day when it's completely windy and all the turbines are going. However, over the course of the year, we'd get more like 40% of that so our deliverable energy on this is 40% of 30, which as you can imagine is 12 gigawatt years. And then by 2050, it'll be 40% of 110, so we can expect 44 gigawatt years deliverable to the American people from this endeavor. 44 gigawatts? 44 gigawatts? Ma'am, uh, is that a lot? I'm really glad you asked. In point of fact, 44 gigawatts is not a lot. I mean, it is a lot, it's quite a lot, but here's the deal. My fellow Americans, in order to decarbonize our economy, what we need to do is on the demand side, you need to figure out ways to reduce your consumption, electrify everything, you know, like your cars, your heating, your cooking. When you get all that electrified, you're gonna need electricity. And there's a certain amount, we've calculated it, that you would need. If the entire country, and we got off fossil fuels, you would need about one to 2,000 gigawatt years of energy delivered. Oh. One to 2,000 gigawatt years of energy delivered. And 44 gigawatt years divided by 1,000 is 4%. And of course, if it is that we need a lot more, like 2,000, then it's like 2%. So yes, yes, that doesn't really cover a lot of our energy, but it is a huge beginning. And if you don't know much about the numbers, it seems very impressive, very impressive. You've got the White House ambitious goal of 110 gigawatts by 2050. And then this is where, like, honestly, people would be like, whoa, whoa, wait, what? 4%? But, you know, this is the huge multi-bazillion dollar thing. It's 4%. How is that? What? And this is where it's a huge and wonderful opportunity for leadership. 